Hey guys, it's Warren here, and here's how to make your very own barbecue station made from pallets. It's the perfect buddy for your barbecue with loads of storage and nice little features that will make it the talking point of your next summer gathering in the garden. Firstly, you'll need two pallets in reasonable condition and they need to both be of equal size. Decide which pallet you want to be on the front of your barbecue station, then saw off any pieces of wood that need to be removed to make room for any storage or shelves. To make your shelves, screw in any supports, cut scrap pallet wood to size and screw to the supports. Next, we're gonna make our wine rack. Again, take a scrap piece of pallet wood big enough to fit into the pallet. Lay this piece of wood flat and line up the number of wine bottles you want to put in your rack on the piece of wood. When you're happy with the position of your bottles, draw a rough line around them and remove them from the plank. Then draw a straight line through all the circles in the centre of the piece of wood. Now mark the middle of each circle along the line you've just drawn. Next, take a hole saw that's slightly bigger than the neck of a wine bottle and attach to a drill. With the piece of wood securely fastened down, drill through on the centre point of each circle that we marked earlier. Then you should be left with a plank of wood with four holes in. With the piece of wood remaining secured, saw down the line that goes through the circles that we drew earlier. Take just one half of the piece of wood which we'll use as our wine rack. Place it where you'd like it to go on your pallet, then securely fasten it down with some screws. And now we can attach the two pallets together. So find a level surface in your garden and line the two pallets up front to back. When you're happy with their position, use either G-clamps or cable ties until the pallets are tightly fastened together. Then wherever possible, use screws to attach the two pallets together whilst they're being held in place. And remember, the more screws the merrier. And once done, remove any G-clamps or if you used cable ties, you can keep these fastened. Now with your pallet upright and the front facing forward, we now need to attach a worktop. Do this with either a frame and scrap pallet wood or just a large plank of wood, then be sure to secure it down. Next, attach some hooks to hang your barbecue utensils off. Then, if you want to attach an umbrella, use a screw hole again that's slightly bigger than the pole of your umbrella and screw it through your worktop. Next, to make a stopper, take two pieces of scrap pallet wood, one with a hole in that's the same size. Place the umbrella through the hole until it reaches the stopper, then position it until your umbrella is nice and straight. Now securely fasten the stopper down to the pallet using some screws. Attach any other finishing touches and I'm screwing on a bottle opener, then our barbecue station is ready to use. So load it up with your barbecue utensils along with some tasty condiments, utilise your spare shelves for things like crockery, then load up that wine rack. I also made space for a storage box, perfect for somewhere to keep those barbecue essentials. Finally, wheel up the barbecue and stick up the umbrella. Crack open a bottle of beer and then say hello to your very own barbecue station. Now if you loved the look of this DIY project, remember to give this video a thumbs up and you can check out more of my stuff by clicking on one of the videos appearing on screen.